Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. Now, we're gonna get one more thing in Delfino Plaza before moving on. So, let's swim out to this island all the way over here and we can see, which is very strange, a gold bird sitting on the water. Or a yellow bird, I don't know what it is. Which is, yeah. It's just sitting there on the water. You wouldn't expect a bird to be sitting on the water. I guess you would, depending on the bird, but not this bird. I was shipwrecked and washed up here three years ago. I often think about the far shore, but I can't swim. I've never left this little island. Isn't that just awful? Also, there's this stuff here on this pipe to stop us from going in. I, I wonder if there is a way that speedrunners actually get in there. But I don't know it, so... But anyway, I believe if we spray his fire, a one-up pops out, which will run away from you, which is annoying. I don't think there's anything in this tree from memory. There might be, though. I'm just gonna spray it. Nope. But anyway, now let's try and spray that yellow bird, because obviously it's gonna have something for us if we spray it. Spray. Spray bird. And there we go. For spraying the yellow bird, it spawns a shine for us all the way over there. <sighs> of course it spawns it over there. Anyway, let's swim across now to go get it. Because I'm not just going to leave it there. That would just be a waste. Swim, 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 swim. Okay, so let's head on up here to get this shine. Oh, it's a bit high up. Please grab, please grab, grab. Thank you. And there we go. And you may have noticed that this opening cutscene here has been a little bit different. And also that that bit there is glowing. So let's go see what that's about. Because if we go down here... It sure is dark. Is this the daytime? Are all the cities dark? Uh, you're wearing... Some... You're wearing, you're wearing shades. Now, where's that big old shine? The guidebook says it's like the shining eye of Delfino, Isle Delfino. Well, there's that one up there, but it's covered in goop, I guess, so. But anyway, if we stand here and look up at the sun, we get introduced to Noki Bay. Uncork the waterfall. This is a very nice looking level. I kinda... I'm already feeling... Like I've seen this level before, but it just looks good and the music's nice and just... Very nice. There's also a boat over there. I kinda wanna go have a look at that quickly. So this boat... Is... Moved by us... Spraying water off of it. Which is gonna be certainly interesting. If it crashes into anything, it breaks though. So, we need to be careful of not going into the water at the moment because this water is purple, which obviously means it's poisoned. I think I luckily landed on the edge. Let me just double check. Yep, poisoned. Ow! Ah, welcome, Master Mario, I presume. We have heard much about you, yes, and all of it good. As for me, I am just an old man who loves nothing but fishing. But lately I have had a terrible problem. Please look up there. I don't know who did it, but someone corked the wa our waterfall. This no doubt is why our lovely bay has become polluted. And I can't even fish. And so I ask for your help. Yank that cork. Please fulfill this old man's wish. <coughs> 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 
What's that? You'll do it? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I knew I could count on you. Just beware that guy on the cork. Well, we've seen one of those guys on the cork before. In, uh, Pinner Park, so... We can probably take care of him. And now, just quickly... To get up, though... Oh my goodness, so many monsters are spawning super fast. We want to spray at that... Ah, uh, squid-shaped... Ink, or... Goop on the wall. Oh my goodness, stop... Spraying me. Stop attacking me. Enemies. Why not? I'm pretty sure I should be able to get that. No, I, I don't I know. I, what am I doing? I know what I'm doing. I'm going up this thing, not what I was trying to do just now. Definitely. I wasn't trying anything that I wasn't supposed to be trying. Anyway, we can sh squirt water into that jar over there to bring us up here. We can also spray that panel on the wall to push it in, revealing a coin. But if we do actually clean up that squid, it makes a platform appear. And apparently I squirted something across the way already. Please. Nope, okay then. Let's just keep going. We can also wall jump between those now to actually get up. So, if I can get rid of that though, I believe another platform will appear. I like how that's actually become a mechanic now in this level. Because before it was just a thing that happened during cutscenes, but now it's an actual thing that we need to think about a little bit. Get that whale on the wall. Oh, I missed a tiny spot and it doesn't count. Also, these little spiky ball things that are going down the, the cliff will repaint some of the things. But I believe if you spray them enough... Oh, I've ran out of water. I believe... Yeah, I got some more water from that enemy there. But I believe, if I'm not wrong, that if you spray one of these enough... Please. It spreads out water whenever you do it enough. It gets, after it gets bigger, but I guess that's not extremely useful. Unless you need oh, to clean up an area quickly. Oh my goodness. Get up, Mario! 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? Mario, get up! Mario! Oh my goodness. I'm up here now. Okay. Let's wall jump up quickly to try and live a little bit longer. Oh, there's a bird here on the wall. I love how the, it's always painted in, or well, usually painted in patterns. Or, what's it called? The shapes. Shapes, that's the one. Anyway, now that we're up here, let's see what you have to say. Alright, are you Mario? That guy down there is my teacher. I mean, my grandpa. Heh, <laughs> that cork is further up ahead. Be careful though, there's a weird guy perched on top of it. He'll start tossing explosives at you if you get too close. I thought you might need help, so I got you this springboard. If you spray it, and uh, it'll shrink and be easy to carry. Please use it. So, yes, there's a springboard here, which we can use. There's also one up, up here that we can get. Also this thing here. I don't think if you water it, anything happens, but anyway. We can spray this thing so we can... the springboard so we can pick it up and pick it up and then move it, but we don't actually need it, so you're supposed to be able to use it over here to get up, but you can just, oh come on, don't, don't prove, don't prove me wrong, game, I'm so sure I can do this right now, oh please, maybe closer to here, yeah, maybe, just in the middle there, you can side flip, wall jump off to get up easier, or quicker, that is, not easier, just quicker. But anyway, same thing as before, you just need to toss bombs at him. And that's literally it. So there we go. Takes three bombs, of course. And there he goes, off into the distance. The waterfall is back. The health bar is stuck. And also the nozzle?
I think I clicked the shine so fast I didn't know what to do. Well, anyway. I guess we should head back in to see what's happening there again. The boss of Tricky Ruins. Mario, thanks for all your help earlier. That was truly spectacular. Would you mind being my new teacher? I mean, uh, never mind. My grandpa's up ahead and he wants to tell you something. Wow, you're just getting rid of your grandpa so fast. Anyway, let's cross over these platforms in the water and also try to dodge these fish a little bit more than that. I believe over here though is nothing. Over here is nothing. Cool. But if we go down here and talk to you. Excellent. Way to go, Master Mario. You have returned our waterfall to normal. Bravo. What's that? The ocean's still dirty? Strange. It looks like my theory was way off. Hey, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> That's okay. I think I've got a lead on the real cause. Now, this may not seem like much of a reward, but I'm going to reveal to you one of Noki Bay's deepest secrets. The bay actually contains the tomb of an ancient Noki king. When you spray water on the wall paintings, a path usually opens. It's almost like magic, and one path leads to a hidden shrine sprite. Honest, this is all true, maybe. Wow, you seem so confident about your lore. Anyway, I think if I go over here though, and break some of these boxes. Okay, those just give me coins, but still coins. Need those for whenever I get the hundred coins. And there's also, if we swim all the way down here, collecting coins as we go. Come on, this is a long way down, but if we get all the way down, there's a blue coin, as long as you don't get grabbed by that fish. So let's grab that. Fish, don't grab me. Oh, he grabbed me. Oh, he's pulling me under. <laughs> swim up, swim up, swim up, swim up. We can also use the hover nozzle, I believe, to get up quicker. Just a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not a lot faster, apparently. I actually don't think it's doing anything at the moment. That's a shame. But anyway, that's, I guess that's why the coins are here, so you don't drown. But still, I'm a long way from the surface, and okay, I'm fine. There's also another mud boat over here if you want to go along with the um, coins in the, on the water surface. Okay, let's see if we can get to where we need to go now. Also, these um, like pathways that have appeared when you spray the wall paintings are timed, so you need to go quickly, otherwise it'll push you off. Also, I want to get that blue coin while I'm here. Grab that. Oh, go on. Mario, 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 Mario. Please. Go faster, Mario. Oh, Mario, what are you doing? If Mario lets go of a ledge, he just doesn't. He just doesn't. Oh, there goes my platform. Thank you, Mario. You are so helpful. You also have to wait for it to completely close before you can even start it again. Okay, here we go. See if I can actually get up this time. Oh, 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 okay. Also, I believe this bit also closes in, maybe? So I need to actually be fast there. Um, is there a... I think if you go close to there... Okay, so this is going to sound crazy, but there are boxing glove springs that just... like, punch you from random places on some of these ledges. And they just send you flying away from where you actually want to be. 
Anyway, let's grab that blue coin there and then let's head back probably because this is not the way we're supposed to go. So, let's actually just go up this way instead. Fighting some of these bloopers. Like that. And another emblem. Very nice. Let's keep heading up. There's another wall painting there that we can spray. And now I'm gonna have to figure out where this blue coin is there. Oh, I missed. I missed by a lot. Okay, you can imagine how crazy it is trying to get all of the blue coins in this level because of how many secret pathways there are. And also just how big this level is actually. It's a fairly big level. It's very spread out. Anyway, let's go across here because that's probably faster than going around that whole loop. And now... Let's go up here. Oh, because we have to fight the the, the... the... I don't even know what it's called anymore. We have to fight this boss again. Oh my goodness. Those tentacles can actually still get me. Oh, go fast, go fast. Nope, nope, nope. Jump. Thank you. Thank you. And let's get rid of that tentacle. And get the other one if I can. Because that'll be good. Oh, please grab. Thank you. You have to grab it at the very tip, otherwise it doesn't work. Let's grab that. You can't skip this boss, I don't think, so... There's also luckily water up here, because if you had to get water from all the way down to actually clean him up, that would be crazy. Oh, please. Please. I want, I want you to actually... Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, please grab. Grab. Thank you. We go. Oh, if I can grab the other one, that'd be great. Oh, perfect. And we won. <laughs> because he can't do anything to us anymore. Pretty much. There we go. And this platform he was sitting on top of breaks as soon as he's gone, so... You can't destroy it yourself. But there we go. Now let me see if I have... Can get all the blue coins in this cave. Because these ones are actually... Very easy to miss. Which is a problem. Now on, that's just a regular coin. If you don't have enough water though when you get down here, you're in trouble. You can probably head out of the, um... The hole in the wall that leads out to the waterfall. But anyway... I think that's all of the blue coins in here, hopefully. So let's grab the shrine and go. Now, let's have a look at the sun again. Red coins in a bottle. I've got it, yes, I surely ha do have it. What have I got? Why, the answer to our polluted ocean problem, of course. And the answer is... You! And you must go to the ocean floor. Of course, that is impossible for you at the moment. Therefore, I made an area for you to, to, to hone your skills. Boop, boop, boop. Wear this and you can stay underwater for much, much longer. I don't actually know what the rest of the text was, but I'm guessing it's actually just a... A Mario, like, theme, like, item get thing. Use that flood to move around and get red coins. But don't overdo it. If you run low on air, here's what you do. Just grab some regular coins to refill your meter, okay? Now, shall we get started? We get forced into this whenever we select the shine, by the way. This also just doesn't make much sense. But this music's great. I like this music. This song. It's such a good song. And it's sad because... There are some difficult levels that have this song in it. 
which is why there's the I can't remember who which like music channel it is. I think it's Silver Gunner. Who has it? Oh, just listen to this song and the Silver Gunner thing. It's like um, underwater in the clouds in the sky thing or uh, something like that. It's funny though. Uh, but you probably will want to listen to it after a certain point in the game, and I'll probably try to point out when that is. So anyway, if we go over here, we get launched straight up, which is crazy. But the last red coin is at the top of that, so we need to go down and try to line ourselves up properly with those coins. There we go. It's fairly easy to n move yourself around using flood on the hover nozzle. So anyway, let's go get ourselves our shine. Unfortunately, you can't go down any faster than this. I love how it sounds like he's talking, like saying that through the helmet as well. Good effect. Okay. Let's head back in. Eely Mouse Dentist. Oh, Mario, you're finally setting out for the ocean's bottom. Grandpa is waiting for you up, up top. Oh, don't forget to wear this. You can use this rope as a shortcut to reach Grandpa. Also, what I'm doing right now, going up to see Grandpa, is completely pointless. Completely unnecessary. If you don't care about what Grandpa has to say, just go to the waterfall and swim down, basically. So, let's go up here and see what he has to say. Oh, turn camera, please. You look like you are ready. The gunk in the ocean is caused by a giant eel. It's moved into our ancestral home at the seafloor and it's nursing some nasty cavities there. Let's take a look. The newly uncorked waterfall created a gap in the pollution that you can use to use as an entrance. Jump right in there. Dive to the bottom of the ocean and clean that eel's teeth. Doing so will ease his pain and he'll return from whence he came. No doubt about it. Now, gather your courage and dive. Also, just quickly, I want to jump off of this ledge and then hover into this hole here to grab this blue coin, so... Also, I believe if I spray this ice block, I can also get this one up here, so... But anyway, you don't have to dive from up here, you can just swim down without even reading his text, so... And now, welcome to a new area of Noki Bay. There are quite a few coins down here, because if you run out of coins, you're gonna run out of air as well. So, these toxic bubbles coming up from the eel, you can also spray those with uh, your hover nozzle or otherwise to make bubbles appear. And if you walk into those bubbles, you'll actually get air as well. You have unlimited water while you're under underwater, so your, your flood tank never em runs out, so... You just need to make sure you don't run out of air, and don't die. Because if you die, you have to get back in here and restart. But anyway, we need to use Flood to clean out these, clean up these teeth. Teeth. Um, but that can be a little bit difficult to do, especially because I think if you don't do it enough, they actually get dirty again. Also, when it's doing this, you can get pulled in and die, so be careful not to get eaten. Okay, come on, so close. So close. You can also go through it part of its like its lips, so you don't have to worry about hitting it directly, I guess. 
please. Oh, I'm inside. It is dark. I feel fright. <laughs> Me too, Flood. Me too. I didn't take any damage from that, apparently. But I do need to make sure I keep an eye on my life. So I might actually get another bubble to give me some bubbles so I can breathe some more. Also, don't get hit by the purple bubbles because they will hurt you. Oh, I missed. That's fine. Let me see if I can get another tooth out of the way. We need to get all these teeth cleaned. So, oh dear, I'm in the wrong spot. That's okay. Almost done with this half. Cool. Very good. Also, some of the teeth will jump, like, pop out whenever you clean them, so you need to be careful for that. Because that will... Those, I believe, hurt you as well. Okay, just a little bit more on this one. You're down, please. Oh, I'm almost out of life. Let me go get a coin. Real quick. Some coins, because I, I'm, I'm gonna die otherwise. I could get more health or air from the bu bubbles, but I'm gonna get coins instead. Because it works that way as well. Okay, let's see about these last few teeth on this side. Come on. Last one. Might be a bit difficult to aim at. If you can try and keep ahead of it, it's kind of good. But that's a little bit... That's, that's asking a fair bit. Come on. I just need to be above it for it to spray it. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. Oh, and there it goes. That's gonna make it difficult. Please. Please, thank you. Remember to take proper care of your teeth. Thank you, Flood. And it's Golden Tooth. Becomes a shine. And also the eels leave, leaving a, a coins in the shape of a heart. Which is a nice touch. Anyway, we're up here now. It gives us a bit of extra air just to make sure we don't die as soon as we beat it. Look at the heart. And now let's go get our shine. Okay, I think I'm going to go in again and see what's next, just because we can also see how the water's doing now. Uh, two, Pian Piantissimo's Surf Swim. And he's also got the same laugh animation as um, Shadow Mario when we see Shadow Mario for the first time, just before he goes into the first level. Now hopefully all of our people will return home, and want home again. We owe it all to you, thanks. And say, do you know that guy? He's been waiting up there for you for quite a while. So yes, the water's now clear, which makes it a lot easier to get that blue coin over there. Thanks to you, our bay is clean again. Thank you. I might actually go get that blue coin. Since it's so easy to get now. Come on. Thank you. So this is probably the best point to get start getting everything that you haven't got. Like blue coins, hundred coins, just everything is a lot easier when there's no poison. Although there, there were coins on the water before, but we can't get any more, so. I did see that last time with when the, uh, the boat was still around, so. Anyway, I should actually probably go on that rope instead of just walking up normally. Just because it's a little bit faster. Except it's not fast anymore because of all this detour detour detouring that I've just been doing, so let's head up here. And now, let's see what Piantissimo has to say. Ho ho, foolish man, I am to Piantissimo, Piantissimo the second. Yes, I th I think that's how it. That's what he's trying to say by the 
double eye at the beginning. Yes, that is me. And now I challenge you to a race to that flag. It is a race to the finish. The best time is 40 seconds. Are you, uh, are you at the ready? Then get set and go. So yeah, we just need to race him to the flag. And there's no rules stopping us from just doing whatever we want to get there. So that, that punching uh, boxing glove thing that sprung out of the ground to hit me was very useful, actually. I, wasn't, I didn't know that was there, but it, it pretty much knocked me exactly where I needed to be. And I got here in half his time. But yes, and he will appear in different levels as well for more shines. Whoa, ha, huh, wheeze. Ha, huh, you are quite speedy. You are like a fish. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you for that wonderful compliment. I am like a fish. You may not be the slow, calm chomper I took you for. May we race again. Watch for me. I will keep an eye out for you. But anyway, that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.